Hi, welcome to Pleasure Sports. Today we're going to take a look at the new Ignite uh, wetsuit by Roxy. This is a wonderful wetsuit. It is actually made with one of the highest end neoprenes on the market. It's called Fiberlite Neoprene. It's very stretchy. Um, it's one of the lightest closed cell neoprenes on the market. What that means is it'll actually absorb less water so that you stay warmer and it's more flexible. And often some of these wetsuits, um, if, you're, if you don't actually run uh, really cold, if you don't get cold very easily, you can actually wear the 3.2 millimeter um, in a little bit colder waters. Um, so a lot of people will wear the 3.2 in a 4.3 situation and some people wear the 4.3 in a little bit colder situation just because of the neoprene ties. But if you happen to get cold really easily, I recommend sticking with the 4.3 version, um, even in the warmer waters if you get colder easily. So this is a really great wetsuit. I want to show you the features you get for your money. So again, that fiber light, super light, quick dry, flexible neoprene built throughout the entire wetsuit. Um, we've got what's called fluid flex seams here. This is a sealed wetsuit. Um, in all the construction of the suit, the, the seams were first glued together in manufacturing, and then stitched, and then this um, seal was put, this liquid seal, along the outside of the suit, and that makes the, the seal durable and watertight. So you've got a really um, bomb-proof wetsuit here. Um, in the knee area, we've got an abrasion-resistant, anatomically cut, um, knee pad, which is really beautiful. Um, you can take a look at the side of the suit. It's already pre-bent at the knees and elbows and the low back. Um, and that's how the suit was designed, so it naturally fits your body so that you don't get exhausted working against the wetsuit once you're in it. Again, very high-end wetsuit for women. Comes in two, two types. This is the 4-3 millimeter, and what that means is the front and the back panels of the suit are 4 millimeter thick neoprene, and the arms and the shoulders are three millimeter and that's where you typically need more stretch and you can see the gumminess of this particular wetsuit and I really love it, it's really great. Um, you've got no seams in the underarms here so you can really stretch out the suit so it's a really wonderful design. Um, underneath the um, wrist panels here, if you look up close, we've got some beading going on. This is a locking system. This actually keeps the wetsuit in place. It also helps prevent water from flushing up into the wetsuit. And it also prevents what I call blowout, which is, you know, I stick my hand through here several times and I keep making this hole bigger and bigger. And this actually helps uh, make it stay back and come back in place. Um, again, this suit has some really wonderful features. Um, it's also got taping along critical seams on the interior of the suit as well. So this is a chest entry suit. I'm going to show you how to get into it. Um, identical is the construction of the 3-2, which is a 3 millimeter in the front and back, and the 2 millimeter neoprene in the arms. So first thing we do is we unclip this button here, and this just helps prevent the zipper from uh, coming undone in the water. So we unclip it, we zip it across, we take this part off over the neck, and now we take the hanger out. And what I like to do with my top entry wetsuits is just reach both hands down into the wetsuit and flip it inside out. And now I can get into my wetsuit like a pair of pants. So once I get into the wetsuit and pull it up around my waist and the groin really snug, um, I go ahead and slowly put one arm in at a time. And I get my shoulder in and then I go ahead and put my other arm in on the other side. And you're probably wondering why do I want a top entry wetsuit. Um, so one of the benefits of having a suit that you can enter in from the top is that you actually get rid of having a zipper along the back. And when you don't have a zipper along the back, you actually get to um, stretch more naturally in the wetsuit so it gets to bend more naturally. Um, this wetsuit's got really stretchy neoprene and the combination of the no zipper. So you're really, really comfortable. It's like a second skin. Um, a couple more features on the neck. You have a glide skin on the inside portion to create a seal between your neck and this glide skin neoprene to prevent flushing of water coming quickly into the suit. Um, you have a nice little place to put your key loop on right here on the inside. And again, you have a little bit of a crosshair here, which um, actually opens the gap up so you can, you can get into the suit easily. Um, I happen to love this wetsuit. It's really wonderful, and I've been wearing it for a couple of seasons. So again, if I missed any features on the Ignite for 2013, for women, you can take a look at the details on our website at pleasuresports.com.